In a country with a population of more than 160 million, fewer than 3,000 have been tested for the virus. That's one of the lowest testing rates anywhere. Many hospitals all over Bangladesh are turning away patients, even the critically ill, because of fears of coronavirus infection. Al Masuddin died last week after he was denied treatment at six different hospitals in the capital. The veteran freedom fighter of the War of Independence in Bangladesh was a brain hemorrhage patient suffering from mild pneumonia. His only daughter says the healthcare system is failing to serve the people. Even after admitting him, they later discharged him and refused treatment. I could understand those who didn't have the gear might be at risk, but many of the doctors had full protective equipment. Some of these hospitals had corona isolation units. Why didn't they admit or treat him? Bangladesh's health minister has issued a warning to healthcare professionals. This is not the time to backtrack on your duties and it is not justified at all. Stand by the people and serve them. Recently we have noticed the dereliction of duties. The warning came too little too late for Shahanara Ferdosi. Her sister-in-law died recently because of what she calls medical negligence. My sister-in-law was diagnosed with gastrointestinal disease at a city hospital in Kulna. She had a successful surgery there, but on 25th March, further treatment was denied after the surgery, since there was a coronavirus patient who died in that hospital the previous night. Media reports here say more than 50 Bangladeshis died recently from respiratory illness, symptoms similar to coronavirus. But the government didn't record their death as virus-linked, the report said. Health experts say the expected high number of patients during the summer worries them because many of their symptoms will probably be similar to the coronavirus. But many hospitals in the city remain closed and refuse to admit any patients. A recently leaked UN memo warned that Bangladesh is facing up to 2 million deaths from their pandemic if immediate and appropriate steps aren't taken. Tanvir Chaudhary, Al Jazeera, Dhaka, Bangladesh.